I got a nice cool tall boy tasting just right A moonless slow kiss lasting all night Sipping something strong till we laugh or we fight So throw up your hands if you like what I like Throw up your hands if you Good morning, good morning guys It is a good morning Look at that beautiful sunshine How could it not be a good morning, right? I mean, any day you wake up and you see the sun shining it's a good morning to me, and it sure is. The entrance to the right on Highway yeah, 401 East, Yeah, we're going to do that McDonald there, RJ. I know you're going to have a million words for it again, but, uh, yeah, we're on our way to our pickup now. We just picked up our uh, empty trailer. Now we're uh, going to make our way to the uh, big road. I guess you could say it's called the 401 yeah there we go yeah once we pick up our load I know it's a heavy load so I'll uh, come back over here I'll scale it and I'll make sure I can fuel up I do need a little bit of fuel I'm under a half a tank of fuel already, so uh, I was going to fuel up yesterday, but then I figured, you know what, I'm basically bobtailing from my customer over here, and this is a heavy load, so let's not fuel up, because if I'm all of a sudden overweight a little bit, at least then I have the chance to uh, make it good, right? Or, you know, like right now, at least I shouldn't be overweight, because I got a little less than half a tank of fuel, right? Now, if I fueled up all the way, I got no chance to correct it, right? But if I don't fuel up, at least then if I'm heavy, I got the chance to not fuel all the way, right? But anyways, let's make our way down there and uh, hopefully there's not too much of a traffic rush. Because I got about a half an hour worth of driving to do. And according to RJ, it says I should be there about 8.15. And uh, my appointment is at 8.45. So I got about a half an hour, I guess. Which ain't too bad in all reality. But, you know, it is rush hour sometimes. And it can be pretty bad at times here in Toronto. So you never know, right? We'll go on the big road and find out if it's slow today or not. There really ain't no way to get around it. I got to basically go down there and go down to my pickup. So if we're late, we're late, I guess. I didn't really want to start my clock too super early, you know, because then, you know, it eats up your 14-hour day. So you got to be careful you don't chew up that 14-hour day, right? Then you can't drive anymore, then you have to stop, so... And I wouldn't mind making it all the way meters, to my... Take the entrance uh, to the right on Highway 401 East to our tonight McDonald because, uh, Highway 401 I'm supposed to be there tomorrow at 9 a.m. in the morning, so, uh... And I know it, I can drive that in one day, but... Oh, wow, yeah, it does look like it's a little slow. My goodness, I hope it ain't gonna be too terrible. Yikes, yeah, that is moving a little slow there, so. Oh, well, we'll just have to deal with it, I guess. Hopefully it gets better further down the road, right? This is what I was saying earlier as I was coming on to the 401. It's looking bad today, yeah. Not a good sight today, that's for sure. <laughs> stop and go, stop and go. That's all it really is today, so. I can almost guarantee you we're going to be late. I can almost guarantee you that. Because I've just barely been uh, able to get onto the 401. Before you get onto the 401, like when I made that turn there, you get, you get onto the uh, what's called a collector, which is basically a service road, and that gets you onto the 401. And it took me forever. I've been out here now for 29 minutes. Only moved a couple of miles. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the way it goes sometimes. 
I thought it would be better traffic already, but no, oh well, that's not the case, it looks like. Looks like we'll be in traffic here for a while. So sit back, relax, open a popcorn, and uh, let's not get too excited because if you get too excited, I always say if you don't have patience, you're going to become a patient. Yeah, so if you don't have patience to drive in this, you shouldn't be a truck driver. That's always been my opinion. If you get so frustrated and excited and you can't handle traffic like this, you should probably not be a, considered even a professional truck driver. That's what I always say. And you, in my opinion, you're a steering wheel holder. <laughs> That's just the truth, and I speak the truth. Yes. I don't do... Uh, meters. Keep to like the some people do, they, they will never speak the truth. They'll always go around and around and try and avoid the subject. But, hey, that's the way life is, and uh, why would I want to speak different than what life is? But that's all right. We'll make our way down to our uh, pickup. We'll get there when we get there, right? We left on time. We, we even left plenty on time, in my opinion. I had an hour to get there, and it only normal conditions would have taken me half an hour to get there so oh well that's all right like I said no need to get panicky over it right I don't know what is going on in Toronto today but it is traffic hour again <laughs> yeah well that's just the way it is I gotta try and move over into that lane as well if I want to get into the express lane so let's see if this guy will be nice enough to let me get in there yep that guy is nice enough so we'll move in over here and get into the uh, express lane up here oh this guy didn't want to let me in yet so we'll give that a minute there we go now we can get in this lane but yeah, it is still rush hour. I already have picked up my reload now. And it is still rush hour. Indeed it is. I don't get it why it is this bad today, but hey, we just have to deal with it, that's all. We'll get through it eventually, just like we did before, right? We got down to our pickup, no problem. We done it safely. We're gonna attempt to do this one as well. Try and do it safely, keep our distance and all that. I just gotta be in the left lane up here to uh, hit the express lane, which you see to the left. That's the one that I wanna take. Because these ones, they got, uh, you know, on-ramp, off-ramps type of deal, so that way you can get into the city and stuff, so. So I wanna get into the express lane. Yeah. Alrighty guys, we have just scaled our load. I hope you guys can see that. 79,360 pounds. Now we're going over here to Master Steak. <laughs> it's lunch time, so let's go inside and have us some lunch. I'm hungry. I haven't had anything today yet, so here we go, Master Steak come. Oh yeah. All right, it is time for some lunch, ladies and gentlemen. We got us a salad, our usual steak, rice, dinner roll. Oh, let's get to eating. All right, guys, guess what? We are coming back into Windsor. <laughs> yeah, believe it or not, that's what we're coming into again. And I know RJ here in a few minutes is gonna go nuts because he thinks we're going off-roading because this is a brand new road up here he's gonna be saying speed warning turn here turn there he, he don't know where we are <laughs> speed warning. yeah there it goes says speed warning meanwhile we are going to correct speed limit and uh, yeah so it's going nuts because proceed it hasn't been updated now. to this route see now it says proceed to, proceed to the highlighted route well I am <laughs> I am on the road, ain't I? But yeah, we are almost at the border. And uh, then we'll uh, hopefully get a 
border across the border pretty quick hopefully they're in the big lineup today and then we'll make our way towards our delivery although we won't make speed it all warning. the way so just ignore the speed warning guys I am following the law up here and then uh, we'll see how far we can make it tonight I'm thinking I'm gonna go up to about exit 12 in Michigan and that's probably where we're gonna call our quits tonight and we'll be done for today yeah we got about uh, four and a half hours worth of driving to do before we get there so I might barely be able to make it there without having to take another half an hour break we'll see depending on how bad the border crossing is today depending on all of that Speed limit reduced if everything ahead. runs smoothly on this road for might be able to pull it off without taking a half an hour break if not I'll have to take on half an hour break before I can uh, before I can actually make it but anyways let's get across the border yeah this is the ambassador bridge ladies and gentlemen we will be crossing into Michigan here in a few. Yeah, it's fairly busy again today. It looks like especially coming north. Well, in all reality, you won't believe it, but uh, look it up on Google. We're actually going into the United States right now, right? We're going into Michigan. Look this up on, uh, on Google. This is a trivia question for you guys. Which way are we traveling when we go across the Ambassador Bridge? Well, you would think there's only one way, right? It's got to be south, right? And uh -uh, that ain't true. We're actually traveling right now, according to my GPS, northwest. Can you believe that? This is the only border crossing where we go into the United States of America that we're actually traveling north to go into the United States now you don't have to believe me look it up <laughs> it is true yep and you go south to go into Canada <laughs> it's funny but it is it is true it is true it is a weird design, but just the way the, the earth is, I guess, up here. But yeah, now you can see the nice big river up here, basically separating Canada and the United States. But yeah, that's a, that's a great trivia. I bet you a lot of you guys didn't know that. And I don't think I've ever talked about that before. But that is very true. But anyways... We'll make our way to the crossing up here. We'll be uh, crossing into the Michigan here very soon, but just over the top you'll see the uh, American flag. If you don't believe crossing me, I'm border. going into entering the United Michigan. States. There we go. It says entering Michigan. Yep, we are now in Detroit, Michigan. And just about now you'll be able to start seeing that uh, American flag. Another trivia question. How many stars are on an American flag? Now, do me a favor, answer without looking on the internet. If you guessed 47, I believe that's correct. <laughs> a lot of Americans don't know that. Very true. You know, when you do an immigration application or apply for a a citizenship you have to know those things and the same thing about Canada a lot of Canadians don't know that the maple leaf is basically uh, a symbol for Canada right that's on the Canadian flag in 700 feet take the entrance well, to yeah, the anyways, enough of that I hope you got some entertainment out of that and hopefully you'll be on Google right now searching for it well guys we made it here to Sawyer uh, Michigan we're at the TA again well, that is a very nice shower here and had some supper and went to bed and it's a good night's sleep and it's actually the next morning yep that's right so now we're gonna get out of here 
and make our way towards Chicago and do our delivery. So uh, stick around for that video and have a good one, everybody. Appreciate you guys watching. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind.